for the tank in life. Have a good one. Run for the tank. Spurs are 22 and 0 at home, and for just the second time in there, Jim, they trail at the half. Just the third time, actually. And uh, Cleveland has led from jump, leading by as many as 15. It's a six-point lead at the break at the AT&T Center. Welcome to the American Express Halftime Report. Studio J in Atlanta, Ernie Johnson, Kenny Shaq, and Charles. Uh, LeBron James, a 14-point first half to lead Cleveland. Uh, but who's gotten your attention there, Shaq? LeBron is the best player in the world. Yes, they're on an eight-game winning streak, but the others have been stepping up, especially in the last eight games. They're playing beautifully. You know, the ball is moving right here. LeBron has a miscalculation on the dribble, gets it back. He's looking for his guys. He can throw it to Kevin for the three. He's been playing well. But he's going to throw it to my main man, Brick City, JR. Four out of five in the first half, playing well right here. You know what? LeBron, you rest. We'll take care of this. Pick and roll, Tristan Thompson, you gotta watch out for him. This is what he does, what he did last year in the playoffs, what he's doing now. To the basket very hard, and right here. I'm gonna tell you something, Ernie, a lot of people don't know this, but LeBron James is really left-handed. A lot of people don't know that he writes with his left, he does a lot with his left, so, you know, I think, you know, a lot of people are surprised when they see him laid up with his left, but he's really left-handed. Hey, uh, that's an interesting point, a 50-point 50, uh, 50 first half Gary for the Cavs. Payton was like that. Huh? He does everything left-handed except yeah. for shoot when he was playing. And uh, as well. so 50 point first half against a team that gives up less than 90 a game in the San Antonio Spurs best mark in the league. What'd you see? Well, you know, first of all, LeBron James in a, in a game like this, this would have been a 20 point half, 25 point half because he's he's really executing at times at a high level. But the San Antonio Spurs is the limit of great half that he could have had into a, a really good half and only because they're able to no do things. They're, they're able to do things that no other team is do, can do. And that's because, obviously, Kawhi Leonard is able to guard him better than any player in basketball. So as you let the tape run, first of all, freeze it right here. The fight for position. Here, Kawhi Leonard, typically LeBron James is stronger than any guy guarding him. He's able to get his position on the block and be able to get it. But here, with Kawhi Leonard forcing him out, freezing again, now his post game is almost free throw line level. So now that helps Tim Duncan, that you see green over here, and now San Antonio goes into this zone once he gets the basketball, and everyone takes one or two steps back, cut off the passing lane. But Kawhi Leonard is able to play him one-on-one -on -one physicality, and so when he goes to the rim, freeze it again, now we got everybody coming to help. So now you have to shoot over if you're LeBron James over two or three guys at one time or you have to pay attention to two or three, you don't get the great shot. Coach Popovich, the best defense against LeBron James, but that turns into great offense because you got boom, Tony Parker into the lane, get an easy basket. So great defense turned to great offense. Again, one-on-one -on -one with Friesen Hill. We're not switching this. We're going to show hard. Most teams show soft on LeBron and they don't make him make an extra dribble. They show hard. That gives Kawhi Leonard opportunity to get back into the play. This is what you want. One-on-one -on -one with Kawhi. And all of a sudden you got help defense again by Tim Duncan. We're off to the races again. Last play, you got LeBron here again. I'm fighting over freezing. Most guys quit on the screen here. He's still coming, which allows David West to play and come up higher. And all of a sudden, David West gets his hand on the ball because he knows Kawhi's not quit, quit, quitting on the play. And all of a sudden, you have frustration in certain times. But the best, this is the best that San Antonio, this is a 30, 25 point half for LeBron against most teams. But they play such great defense, they limit him in a lot of areas, and that's what makes him tough to beat. Something I'm not used to saying. I Listen. agree with Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because, Ernie, if I'm, uh, if I'm the Cavaliers, I'm concerned because the Spurs played awful. You know, Ka Kawhi's got LeBron. He's two for seven. Tim Duncan hasn't really – he hasn't scored. Aldridge Le hasn't scored. Uh, and they're only down six points. That's how great they are defensively. That's why they're the best defensive team in the NBA. But I agree with Kenny. LeBron would have had probably 25 points against a bad team because he probably would have got another 6 to 8 to 10 points. But the Spurs, this is why they're the Spurs. They're the best defensive team in the world. And I still think they're in great shape. To only be down 6, as bad as they played, they're in great shape. Cleveland shoots 51% in the first half. They score 50 points. They lead it by six. Back with more in a second.
Welcome to the American Express Halftime Report, brought to you by the Premier Rewards Gold Card from American Express. Our American Express Halftime Report highlights uh, just this tweet. Looks like Shaq enjoyed the holidays quite a bit, and by holidays, I mean the buffet. Oh, muscle. Oh, ain't no muscle, no. Ain't no muscle, no. Oh, oh, don't take my shirt off right now. Josh don't take your shirt off radio. right now. And Josh, and Josh, <laughs> and Josh, tell your mother to call me a little bit later. Oh, see, that was nice. Oh, hey, come on. That was nice. Come on. Come on. That was nice. I know Josh's mom. First of all, be nice. Don't talk about Josh's mom. First of all, Josh's mom. mother? First of all, Josh, tell us about Josh's mom. Mother jokes. So just for the record, the Josh's mom don't want no fat boy. So <laughs> over the line. Well, she does, well, you know, she might want you. <laughs> want <a> <laughs> you got your moms on TV <laughs> like that. <laughs> I'm told we have another tweet. I'm almost afraid to see what it might be. Gee. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Elliot Heavy. <laughs> what am I eating? My face big. Ask your mama. She cooked it for me. <laughs> Dude, why you keep doing it, man? Ask your mama. Matter of fact, I can't talk about it. Matter of fact, I'll be over after the show. Uh, <laughs> Wake me up tomorrow at 10. Hey, heavy, um, man. Hey, heavy, yo. Your mom's is all on TV like that. Come on. You've been watching the American Express Halftime Report. Brought to you by the Premier Rewards Gold Card from American Express.